So for our fried rice, we have a couple of different vegetables that we're going to chop up right now. Uh, can you tell everyone what we have on our board? We have garlic. Yep. Ginger. Yes. Scallion. Perfect. Carrot. Carrot. And yellow. Yeah, a yellow onion. So uh, we're going to start with our carrots. And what I'm going to do, because you're working with one of our nice kid knives, is I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to cut them into long strips. Our carrot is pretty hard. <laughs> and then I'm going to hand you um, the strips and you can cut them into small pieces. Exactly. So we want to cut that carrot into just these little, <laughs> that's okay, we can grab that later. Uh, we just want to cut them into these little cubes and then they're going to cook really fast when we get them in the oven, uh, on the pan, okay? So I'll hand you a couple of strips to work on. Okay, so now let's, let's do um, the same thing with our onion. So uh, let's peel the skin off of it first. So this is half an onion that I just cut into, into quarters. You want to peel the top layer or two off um, because we don't want to eat this part. It's no good. Yeah, perfect. I'll cut these into um, some pieces like I did the carrot, and then we want them to be cut the exact same size as the carrot so that it all cooks at the same time. <laughs> Alright, let's put it in this bowl. Okay, so Hanley, what's this next thing we're going to work with? Ginger. Yeah, this is our fresh ginger. How's it smell? Mm. Yeah, really fresh, right? A little bit spicy? So you said you've always wanted to work with this tool before. This is called um, a microplane. Uh, but basically what it's going to do is just grate our ginger really small. So people could also cut it up really small if they want. So, um, your right hand, right? Okay, so you'll grab the microplane with your right hand and then grab the piece of ginger and you just want to run it up and down. And if it can go in the bowl, great. If it doesn't go in the bowl, it's not a big deal. What actually most of it is going to um, go behind the microplane. So once you get down to the end, we'll turn the microplane over and that's where all the ginger will come in. There you go. Sure. All right, see, it's all it caught all back in there. So we'll put that into our bowl. Slide my fingers to the back. It's smooth, so I can safely slide my fingers down and get all the ginger out. So I wanted to, um, I want us to share with everyone how we learned how to clean herbs. So we're going to use some um, fresh cilantro today. And can you show everyone what, what we're going to do? <laughs> yeah, so what's happening? How is that cleaning it? Um, it just takes up the dirt. Exactly, yeah. So you're swishing it around, and because the sand or the dirt is heavier than the cilantro, it's going to sink to the bottom, and when Hanley pulls it out, it's going to, um, we're going to have clean herbs. Okay, so we can put, great. So we're just going to put that to dry and then we're gonna uh, pick off the leaves. We'll add it to the fried rice at the very end. Okay, so last thing, we need to um, scramble two of our eggs. So then we're gonna cook those on the stove and also add them to the fried rice. So you said you're an expert in scrambling eggs, so you wanna go ahead and do that? Yeah. All right, so our pan is heating up. I'm gonna add some of our olive oil to the pan. Fair amount, just to coat the bottom. And now, can you add the onion and carrot that you chopped up? Perfect. Oh, it already smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> Great. So we're going to let this cook for maybe four or five minutes. We want the, the carrot to be pretty soft. Okay, so we're going to multitask. So a lot of people when they're making fried rice, they put the egg in at the very end. 
but I like to scramble it separately. So I'm going to start heating up our little pan over here. We just have like one of these really small um, non-stick pans. We'll let that get a little hot. In the meantime, you can keep stirring around our vegetables so that they get uh, soft and brown on all sides. So let's put a little bit of olive oil into this pan. We don't need too much because it's already not stick. And then I'll hold the bowl. Could you use the, let's use this tool. This, is, this one's really good for scrambled eggs because it's soft. I'm going to use this tool to kind of scoop the system in there. Awesome. You said you know how to make eggs, right? All right, I'll let you run the show. Yeah, let's add our garlic and ginger. So which one is this here? Ginger. So we don't want to add our, our small chopped ingredients at the beginning because they're going to burn before our carrots and onions ever get soft. So move that around really quickly because we don't want it to burn. And I'm going to grab our rice. This is um, brown rice, brown jasmine rice. And uh, what I like about it is that it's really soft. So for people who think they don't like brown rice, uh, this jasmine variety is usually really great. And I cooked it yesterday. So it's already cold, and this is the best way to make fried rice, because then our rice is gonna get nice and crispy, okay? So let's add our rice now, so that our garlic and ginger doesn't burn. And you know, I'll slide it. All right, so now use that spoon to break the garlic. Break it all up and get it mixed in with the, um, with the rest of our vegetables. So this is about um, three quarters cup of frozen peas and uh, we're gonna put those in and they're basically cooked, we just need them to um, defrost. So I'm gonna uh, put some in a bowl and then we're gonna give it a little taste. Make sure it's good to go. How beautiful does that look? It looks like a rainbow. It does look like a rainbow. <laughs> Yum, right? So good. So you can find the recipe for this and all the recipes we do at essexmarket.nyc slash freshbakes. All of our videos are on the Essex Market YouTube channel. And uh, I want to say thank you for joining us today, Hanley. You did an awesome job making this fried rice. Thank you. See you next time.